Hi, we are the hosts of the Cheerleading Podcast, and our names are Haley Mayanger and Elle Willison. Haley, what's your favorite sport? Cheerleading. Why did you pick cheerleading? At first, I wanted to do palms, but I missed the trouts. So I tried it for cheerleading because I thought they were similar. Then I realized I love cheer. How did you get your cheer nickname? Chunky. One day, I was in class while I was working with Berlin and Alexis. While we were working, we were joking around by calling computer mice Chunky. Then, Berlin said to call me Chunky Butt. However, we thought it was too long and kind of inappropriate. So we changed it to Chunky. If you had to pick, would you do competitive or sideline? If I had to pick, I would do competitive because it's more exciting and you can win trophies and medals. How did your first cheer competition go? It was really fun, but we messed up so we didn't get high scores. What did you guys mess up on? We weren't in the right spots and the green team forgot their words, but they still did good for our first time. What place were you guys? We were seventh and fifth place. Who were the people who yelled ready and said the last count? Alexis and I yelled ready and Ellie and I yelled five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three for getting out of a sense at the end of the round. Why do you think some people don't consider cheerleading a sport? For some reason, many people think it's girly. People also think girly things can't be a sport. But cheer, I have to do stunts, tumbling, routines, a lot of chants, and a lot of people watch me, and even judges in competitive season. Also, many people who say it isn't a sport can't even do cheerleading. So basically, cheer is very underrated. When you guys do sideline cheer, who do you cheer for? I cheer for 6th, 7th, and 8th grade football. Also, in competitive cheer, some disabled kids got to compete too, but they only got participation medals. Also, they were outstanding, but when one of them was doing a flip, they fell, but I'm glad they're okay. Yeah, I'm glad they're okay too. Why can't you guys wear your uniforms to school? We were supposed to wear our skirts to school, but we had too many people. However, the reason why we can't wear a whole uniform is that we aren't allowed to get it dirty and it's expensive. Can you miss practices? We can only miss three without permission. If we aren't there for three more days, we can't perform. How long are your guys' practices? They are about three hours and three times a week, even more if we need more practice. And don't you have other sports too? Yes, so I don't have much time to do things. Yeah, sometimes I don't have much time either. What if other sports are going into your cheer time? If they are conflicting, she lets us do the other sport because if it's for the school, to, if it's for the school too, we are representing it still. So if cross country conflicts you, you can go to that instead of cheer. Yeah. What about other sports that are not for our school? I'm not sure because I have I never had any conflicting sports, not for our school. But I'm guessing you can miss unless it's unless it's, you miss too much or it's a game day. If I was in cheer, what would I be? You would probably be a flyer. What are you? I have a switch between base and back spot, but I'm mostly back spot. Why can't you be a flyer? I could, but I'm taller than the bases, so if the bases were taller, then I could probably be a flyer. Is it hard to be a base when the other base is usually shorter than you? Sometimes if the person's really short, because if the other base is really short, I have to get on their level. Yeah, that must be tough. Now that you know what cheer is like, do you think it's similar to palms? No, because palms will focus more on dancing to music at basketball games, and cheer works more on stunts, tumbling, and yelling. Do some schools only have cheer? Some schools only have cheer, and then at basketball games, they do music, and at football games, they yell. Okay, we talked about how you can miss three practices without permission, but can you miss more than that with permission? Yeah. Has anyone missed too many practices? Some people have been kicked out because miss, cause they missed practice without permission. Has that ever happened to you? No, but I hope that will never happen to me. Yeah, because aren't you a back spot? Yep, so I get kicked out if they might have to, and they might have to change some things. So are you a big part of stunts? Kind of, because a lot of stunts you can't do without a back spot. What stunts do you not need to be in? Just thigh stance and fairy lifts. What stunts need you the most? Just ground ups and elevators. We have to have a front spot for safety reasons. What if you were on varsity? I think it depends on how hard the stunt is. Could I ever be a base or a front spot? Between the two, you'd probably be a front spot. Have you ever been a front spot? Not with people watching me, but I have switched between with someone in practice. Are front spots and back spots similar? Back spots is more the lifting, and the front spot helps lift a little bit when they are up an elevator. So yeah, they're pretty similar.
What exactly is a ground up? The base is I bend down and grab her feet, and the front spots turn around and put, and put her hand out. Then the flyer grabs her hand and we lift up in the elevator. What's the rest after that? Then we go into a sponge, she spreads her legs, and she goes into my shoulders. Then the bases back up or go to a different step. While we're doing that, Marissa Bell and I are spinning around. She goes back into a sponge and gets into a cradle. I leave and do one hand cartwheels while the others do a different style. Your cheer routines must be long because I'm guessing there's even more. They're kind of long, they're probably five to ten minutes, but I don't know exactly how long. How do people get to your competitions? Are there tickets? I got there on a bus and I don't think there are any tickets, but I know sometimes you have to pay like five dollars. Is it hard to remember your routines? Sometimes it's hard, but sometimes it could be hard when you're performing if you're nervous or scared. How did your second cheer competition go? It went really good. What places did you guys get this time? We got fifth and fourth. Anyone fall this time? Yeah, but so Gwen, Gwen fell, but as soon as she fell, she got right back up. She didn't just stay there, so that's really good. What did she fall on? I think she was um, up in the air when it was happening because I turned around, and then when I looked back, she was on the floor. But as soon as she fell, though, she got right back up. Was everyone okay when she fell? Yeah, but the thing is, though, I didn't. They, nobody really caught her. Nobody could catch her in time, so she fell. But the, she did really good after. She like she did. She kept going. She like she was hurting, but she kept going the whole time. How many routines did you guys do? We did for a whole team. We did we did four. Cause so for the sixth grade team, we did two, and then for the middle school team, we did two again. What time did you guys leave for your competition? We left at 4.30. What time did you guys get back? We probably got back at like 8.30. How long do you think the drive was to your competition? 30 minutes, but my last one was 55, so we got back at 10 last time. What do you guys do on your bus? We just like talk, we play music. It's really fun and we get to eat snacks. Where do you guys get ready, like before your competition? Well, we, get, we, we keep our clothes on and we get, do makeup at like at the school and then we put our uniforms at the competition place in the locker room and it's so awkward because all the other teams are there. But we all hype each other up. Are your cheer uniforms uncomfortable? No, not really. It's only uncomfortable if it's too big. But the um, skirts, they're kind of short if you like put them up, but they're not as sh short if you um, don't have them at high up. But when we kick, we wear, we don't want our underwear to be showing. So we wear, we wear like a bodysuit and then we put our, we put like fake under that are called briefs like over it so then you can't like say anything are the other teams nice to you when you guys are getting ready they're always nice to us no matter what if we're getting ready like after like a competition we're always like telling each other you did good and good luck and stuff like everybody's always nice to each other does everyone have to wear makeup during your competitions no but i don't think it's required but i think they want you to because you kind of have to wear makeup, like you have to wear lipstick, but I don't know about other makeup. Like sometimes they were like, one time we were like, had samples she gave us for concealer and all that and foundation. She just wanted, she told us she did, we didn't have to, but one makeup product that we have to wear is red lipstick. Do most people wear foundation and concealer and stuff like that? Um, yeah, most people do. Like, and we're always like asking each other if like the makeup looks good or not. Cause I don't wear foundation cause I don't like foundation, but I wear concealer, mascara, and highlighter. And then I also have to wear my, lead, my red lipstick. What product do you think most of your team uses? Ex like not including your lipstick? Um, the most we use is probably mascara. But besides that, because people are already wearing it, they're not really putting it on, unless like you don't wear mascara to school. But if people like already wore mascara to school and they don't need to put any more on, the one that they probably use the most is like foundation. But I don't use foundation though. This is Haley Manger. And this is Al Williston. Thanks, Thanks for listening, listening to our podcast. podcast.